Hey everybody, this is Paul with ProShop. I want to talk to you about creating document packages. This is a topic that is a major source of frustration for a lot of companies we talk with. They are in a regulated industry like aerospace or medical, and with each of their shipments, they need to provide all the material certs, plating certs, hardware, first article inspection reports, and that often takes them hours and hours to prepare, especially for assemblies. Uh, and I want to show you how ProShop handles that. So here we are on an assembly. Um, this is a work order, very simple, installing some helicoils into a machine detail, inspecting it, shipping it. I'm gonna first start by opening up and looking at our customer, because in ProShop we define all the quality requirements for each customer specifically. So if we scroll down past this upper section, in this area we can define uh, whether they require certs or a certificate of conformance or first articles and what that uh, format should be. Those uh, settings will drive behaviors onto all of the jobs for those customers. So if we look at this work order and I pull up the bill materials here, we can see that this, this item, uh, very simple, it has these helicoil fasteners, two per part, um, and it has this machined dash 101 detail part. Um, and if we open up the two tabs for these items here, that vendor purchase order, uh, has a cert column where this cert is attached onto that vendor PO. This happened during the receiving process. Do we make sure we linked it right in when it came in the door? And then on this work order, we have a material icon, which I can pull up and see a summary of what we purchased from what vendor. And then there's the cert that's got scanned in during the receiving of the material. On this detail part, we also did some inspection. We have a first article report for this uh, item right here, um, but we're gonna be looking at the upper level assembly. So let's head back to this tab um, and come back onto this. So when I'm at this final inspection operation, 2000 here, this is gonna be predefined. These checkboxes are predefined based on the profile of that specific customer that I'm making the shipment for. So their certificate of conformance, their certs, and the formatting of their first article will all be predefined. So I'm just going to click the print button, and this is going to pull up and show me, it's going to go find and retrieve all of the certs related to any level of that bomb. Could be five levels deep, doesn't matter. ProShop's going to find them all, bring them all forward to a single document package. If there's anything that it's missing, like these orange ones right here, it's going to warn me that those certs cannot be found, so I can go find figure out what happened. And then we're going to have the bubble drawing, and we're going to have multiple pages of, in this case, our AS9102, both at the high level assembly, where we have the Form 1. You know, you can see this is an assembly FAI, full FAI, pre-checked pre off. Even my signature is on this. And uh, then I have into Form 2, 3, and then down into the detailed level parts, where I have even my Form 3, all of my dimensional results for the sub-level uh, part numbers all pre-filled and pulling from the, the individual work orders where those, those parts were built in the first place. So anyway, that is how you, we prepare document packages in ProShop. Uh, we, so we can take what often takes many hours and make it just a couple of minutes to easily pull those certs together, pull out the first article, and ship those documents out, either email them out, make a PDF package, um, or upload them to a client portal. So anyway, Thanks very much for your time. If this is of interest to you, I'd love to chat. And please let me know in the comments what topics are frustrating your shop and what you'd like me to make another video about.